not all virtues are necessarily religious virtues. There's a lot of uh, secular virtues as well. For example, one of the virtues that I've been working on uh, in uh, recent months is the virtue of cheerfulness. You know, and I think that's uh, it's a basic human virtue, but I think especially in these uh, times of uh, the coronavirus pandemic and COVID that, you know, there's just a lot of things that can be very discouraging and, uh, and uh, actually um, from our Christian perspective, we see discouragement as a temptation that comes from the devil. He wants us to be sad or discouraged about things. And so it's important uh, not to give into that. And as a leader, I think it's also very, uh, very important to be a person who is cheerful and encourages others because people look up to us for leadership. And, uh, you know, if we are downcast, if we come across as sad or discouraged, uh, that's not going to help motivate uh, the people who work for us and work with us. So uh, the other thing is to remember that, uh, you know, if you're having a bad day, there's a good chance that the people you're encountering are also having a bad day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if you can be cheerful and smile and, and try to say something, uh, you know, joyful to them, hopefully that will, will help lift up uh, their day as well. I used to think sometimes that, uh, you know, if you're in a bad mood, and you're trying to be cheerful, that that's uh, hypocritical. You know, if you're if you're grumpy and you're trying to be cheerful, like, well, are you being a hypocrite because you're really feeling feeling grumpy, but you're trying to be cheerful? But the more I thought about it, uh, I, I see that virtue of cheerfulness as a form of mortification. That to mortify yourself is to die to yourself. And so, uh, what I mean by that is, if I'm feeling uh, uh, in a bad mood. In a way, it's self-indulgent to give into that. 